Hey, what's up everybody, Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create the fast forward transition effect. So let's take a quick look at what I am talking about. That is it right there, and basically what it is is we are just taking footage, we're speeding it up, distorting it, and then switching to another piece of footage, slowing it back down, and un uh, removing the distortion. Really neat effect, and I, f I it could be really neat if you like used it to kind of fast forward through a bunch of different sort of things in a vlog or something like that. I don't know, I really like the effect, and so yeah, let's get started and let me show you how it's done. So let's go ahead and just clear all this out right here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab two pieces of footage that we want to transition. So we'll grab this piece of footage and we'll grab this piece of footage just like last time. We kinda, let's cut where we kinda want it to end. Um, the reason I say kind of is because when we speed things up, it's going to shorten the piece of footage. So if you're looking for like a specific thing, like if you want it to be four seconds long, you might need to go a little bit farther than that. However, if you're looking for a specific point in the video where you want it to end, then that's a little bit easier. We can do that pretty, pretty simply. So we're gonna click on this. We're gonna cut out where the ending is, drag in our footage, and now we just got a normal transition moves from one to the next. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to about where we want it to start speeding up. We're gonna go maybe like a second back a second and a half maybe to about right there we're going to go up into our effects tab i am working in the effects workflow currently so the effects tab is over here and there's a bunch of stuff sort of reorganized if you're in a different one you can click on the effects or you can just find the panels that i'm talking about over here so we're going to go into the effects i'm going to search wave warp and i'm going to drag that onto the first one and now you'll see over in my effects controls once i have this piece of footage selected we have wave warp so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this wave type to smooth noise. I am then going to sort of keyframe both of these um, and then I'm gonna set them to zero. I'll explain that in a second. We're gonna make our direction zero because we don't want it up and down, we want it left to right. And then wave speed and everything else is perfectly fine where it is. If you don't like the black coming into the edges, um, you know, when it was doing that thing, it was like kind of pulling the footage off. You can do pinning and pin it to all edges so it doesn't ever actually come off the edges. Makes the effect look a little bit different, but if that's what you're going for, that is pretty uh, neat effect to have there. So basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go from zero and the wave width has to be defaulted to one. And then we're just going to go to the very end and we're going to bump both of these up to where we kind of like it. So let's bring that up a little bit and yeah, kind of like that kind of looks like a fast forward might look like. Um, you, if you want it sort of like stronger, you can kind of go with the the noise instead of the wave noise or the smooth noise, but I, th I think the smooth noise works better in this situation. And since we set our keyframes, now it starts at zero and it slowly gets more intense until we get to that point that we set it at at the end there. The next thing to do is we're going to go over and we're going to do the exact inverse of that. So we're going to go to the wave warp, we're gonna click on that. We're gonna drag it on over to our right piece of footage. And what we wanna do is we wanna set this exactly like the other one ended. So we're gonna go smooth noise here, wave height. Um, we're gonna go look at that in a second, wave direction zero. So let's click on this other one, click on the other one. And so we have two numbers here, 288 and 277. Let's just go ahead and remember those. We're gonna move over here. We're gonna start off at 288, not 2000, and 277. And you can see that now it is sort of the same effect that it was here. The, the intensity is the exact same as the other one. So we're gonna go and we're going to keyframe both of these as well. We're gonna move forward a decent amount of time. Um, and then we're just gonna make those back into zeros. And now we have this effect going on right here where you can see it sort of looks like we speed up and then we're into a different point. Um, if you want this to be more distorted so it isn't so like obvious that they switched, you can mess around with those settings, you can add the noise, you can do anything you want and sort of really throw this thing off so you can't see the switch in between. But I don't think the switch looks too bad, it just looks like a neat effect going across. Now though, you see that it doesn't look that great right now because all we're doing is we're adding waves to it and we aren't actually, you know, um, speeding things up. So then, let's speed some things up. So effect starts right about here, so that's where we wanna start. And right now what this these lines do is they control the opacity. We don't want that. What we want is it to control the speed. So we're gonna right click on the footage, go down to show clip, clip keyframes, go to time remapping, and then click on the speed button right there. Do the exact same for this one over here. Whoops. 
and now they're both on to speed. What this allows us to do is it allows us to have some fine-tuned time remapping. So what we want to do is we want to set a keyframe right here. Um, I have a tutorial on this. I'll link that in the description if you want more of an in-depth tutorial on how this works. But right now, I'm just going to uh, kind of go through it a little bit quickly and explain just the core aspects. So we're going to set a keyframe. We're going to stretch that keyframe out right here. And then we're going to click the edge and drag it on up. And you'll see that it cuts off the footage because that's what happens when you speed up footage is that there's less of it because you're going over it at a quicker pace. So we can kind of back this up. We can move this around and get it to where we want. If we want it more footage we can, and we have more footage, we can actually, we need to unlink the audio to do this. We can actually click on this and sort of drag it forward again um, if there was more footage at the end to sort of refill what we were looking for. However, if we weren't really, you know, didn't have our heart set on the exact timestamp, we can just click this footage and move it over so that they are back aligned once again. So now you see, you can actually see it starting to speed up and I kind of want it to go a little bit before um, that effect actually started happening. So we're gonna go about right there and that's gonna slow it down a little more or speed it up a little more. And yep, there we go. So now it's getting like really fast and then it cuts over, we can even bump this up to like insane amounts, like 300% right there. And you can see that, it, oh, there's a little black because it shortened it again, but, and now it's kind of looking pretty good. We're getting this really fast burst and then it moves into the next one. So in this one, all we got to do is we're going to move this up to wherever it ended right about 195 right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click keyframe right here. And I'm going to click the right edge and drag it out and then just drag this back down to 100%. Right about there, maybe bring this in some. And now we have this speed up and then speed back down. So it starts off going really fast and then it comes and it goes back into normal speed. And just like that, we have our effect created. This effect could kind of be um, sold a little bit better if maybe you like put some little arrows in the bottom right, like a, a VCR might or, um, Definitely add some good sound design to this like, you know, the tape going That would probably really really sell the effect a lot more sound design is important with a lot of these things But that is the general effect and how to accomplish it in Adobe Premiere Pro Thanks everyone for joining me for this tutorial If you got any questions on this or anything like that go ahead and throw those in the comments below I'd love to answer those questions and if you got any like suggestions for future tutorials throw those in the below and I'd like to you know make those tutorials as well <laughs> Anyway, uh, subscribe to see more Adobe related content. I love to make Adobe related content sort of in the video production realm. Um, so yeah, subscribe if you wanna see stuff like that. And yeah, until next time guys, see ya.